Blackfoot Communications is actively supporting the communities we serve across Montana and Idaho. We are installing hundreds of miles of fiber in our service territories, increasing the broadband experience in our rural communities. We are delivering remote workforce solutions for our business communities. We are creating new, innovative solutions for our local entrepreneurs and enterprise organizations. Learn how your company can benefit. Call today at 541-5000 or go to blackfootbusiness.com. Blackfoot Communications. Connect to more. Start with some opening thoughts from Coach, and then open it up to questions. Okay, um, it was uh, certainly a good win for our team. Uh, I like our team. I felt good about our team um, through the whole off season. Uh, they were ready to play. Uh, they felt like they could win the game. And they didn't really take the field much without thinking we will win the game, and. We just came in here and, and beat a uh, really good Washington team. They're very sound in everything they do. They, they, they've got a good scheme. They've got good coaching. They've got good players. <laughs> they've got great resources here. And I mean, they're a good football team. And I, I think they're going to beat Michigan next week. That's what I think. So we're very proud of getting this win. Um, and I'm just us to be the head coach and coach these guys because they play for us and our, our assistant coaches had a great plan and, and it's, a, it's a, a fine 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 win uh, probably the biggest I've been coaching a long time I think this is the biggest win in my coaching career. How did it feel especially afterwards when you're hugging the guys and celebrating and being able to enjoy it with them? Well that's, that's the fun part and when you play you, you either win or you lose and there's really in football there's nothing else and there's a lot that goes into to playing a game. And there's a lot that goes into an individual earning a play in college football. So each play is important. And each game in college football is important. I mean, coaches put their families on hold. And we give, everybody gives their all to the, uh, to the game. And you're supposed to hug each other up and enjoy the win. And we're going to enjoy the heck out of this one. You know, Washington marched down the field at first try, but then nothing after they that. Help now. Penalties. <laughs> Was there something you saw on that drive that you guys were able to change or do better throughout the game, or did you change anything defensively no, after we did, that no, drive? No, no, not at all. Not at all. We just did our thing. And our, our thing's being physical, play fast, tackle. And that's what we did all night. And you talked a lot about your defense throughout camp and how deep you thought they were. Did you expect a type of performance like this? I mean, I, I, I expect a couple of things. I expect us to play hard. I expect us to chase the ball, and I expect us to tackle. So that's what I expect, and that's what we do. I think the three linebackers were sort of the embodiment of that tonight. I mean, O'Connell, Wellnell, Jace Lewis. Um, how well do you think those guys played, and, and how do they help the defense? Well, you know, I'll uh, I'll see film, obviously, but um, it'd be hard to say anybody in our defense didn't play pretty very well. We took the number 20 team in the country and held the seven on their home field. Cam, um, obviously you're from the state. Um, what does this mean for you? Yeah, no, it was awesome. This place is big time. It was uh, it was surreal, um, for sure. Um, you know, like I was saying all week, it, it, it's just another football game, and you know, we went and showed that today. And you know, I, I have a heck of a team around me, and uh, I'm blessed to be a part of this team. Cam, your guys' resiliency on offense was really a big part, especially that second half. You know, just kind of struggling in the first half with their defense, but you know, those last couple of drives, what did you guys see? Were you able to take advantage and you know get first downs and keep drives going and ultimately score and take the lead? 
yeah, I mean, you said it's just resilience. You know, our, our old line played amazing. Uh, our running backs, you know, they they ran the ball really, really well. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just had to do my job and, uh, you know, Todd's fell. You think you faked the entire state of Washington out on that handoff and when you took it across the goal line. Uh, what did you see on that play and how did that feel diving across there and uh, giving you guys the lead? Uh, you know, the coaches made the reads really clear to me during the week. Um, you know, I just executed my job uh, just like everybody else. On that last drive when you're watching the defense, like what were the, the nerves like and when Marcus gets that pick, like what were the, the emotions like? It, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy for sure. Uh, nice to stop him before the throw. Yeah, yeah. It would have been I mean, stressful. I gave him a reprieve by missing the field goal and getting stopped, get, not getting stopped on fourth and ten. How did it feel when you dove into the end zone for that touchdown and just getting mobbed by all your teammates? It, it was awesome. I mean, you know, like I said, we were working all week, uh, and to be able to score some points for the Montana Grizzlies is it's a great feeling. Kevin, yeah. no, go ahead. I was gonna say, how does, does that compare to any other moments you've had on the football field? No. Why not? Uh, <clears throat> Scenario setting, uh, you know, all of it. Yeah, and this is going to go down as one of the best, you know, defensive performances by the Grizz ever. What was it like being a part of that? And just uh, how would you just describe what it's like uh, getting a win like that? It was big being a part of this. Um, going out there and beating a good U Dub team, and just all the guys just playing hyped up. For you, Gavin, you're like Cam. You're like you're from Washington too, just down the road. You know, uh, when you're on the field and Marcus gets that pick, what's going through your mind? What were the emotions like on that defense uh, to get that stop? It was, it was big time. I was proud. It was good. <laughs> the, the, the drive before that too. You know, Justin gets a couple of pass breakups, gets the offense the ball back. You know, um, at that point, did you guys feel like it was you had it in the bag, especially with how well the defense was playing? Gavin, your second pick, I mean, were you just like, wow, this is happening again? I mean, it was the same thing, basically, all of his hand popped up right to you. Uh, it was nice. It was just a gimme. I had to go and get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you notice Washington's offense tried changing anything throughout the game? Uh, no. Coach, obviously for you, I mean, you said this is the biggest win of your career. You've done, so. done a lot of these, but, like, what at the – in, in the end, there, like, do you? Were you, what were your emotions like when it's late in the fourth quarter and it's there and you, you have chances earlier to win it and things like that? Like, is this a game that, like, maybe late you, you, you we were, were getting a little bit more uh, nervous or anxious? Uh, no, I don't think that, that's not really who I am. I mean, and yeah. our team isn't either because we work we work situations hard, and <clears throat> when that's going on, you're going through the scenarios and the clock and the timeouts and all the head coach stuff in your head, so you don't really have time. Nervous, you gotta figure out what's going, and then we did a little consult with the coordinators on where we're going with play calls based on some of that. So, for your for your fronts in, in the offensive line, especially late in the game, usually it's kind of the FBS team that starts wearing the other team down. You guys get a big third and twelve on a run, and, and you guys were kind of wearing them down. What does that say about your football team? And it's as far well, as how good you guys it, are. It says, I mean, I, yeah. I guess. I mean, I've kind of held it as true. Maybe an indicator that what I've been saying is true, and that, that we're good up front on both sides. Um, after the game, I saw on the field you got to kind of embrace your son, which I mean must have been great for you. Well, I guess what did you say to him? What was that like for you? Well, it was funny because uh, pregame, I still have a lot of friends that work in the department in town here, and there a lot of them uh, came up and said, "I can't believe that little kid who used to run out on the field and raise hell out here during practice is now playing on." Uh, but it was more just a, all he, all he said was, how about that? And I said, how about that? That was it. Nothing too revolutionary. When you're coming off the field, Bobby, uh, the crowd, you know, there's a really good contingent of Grizz fans here. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, I the, mean, we travel well. Yeah. It was so in that, in that moment for all you guys, I mean, it's just, a, they're chanting names. There's just a whole people in that section. What was that moment like as you guys walked off the field winners in this one? Well, like Washington, Montana football is a powerful presence in our region. Like Washington, people in Montana care about the Montana Grizzlies. They eat, sleep, drink, pray Montana football. So uh, it's awesome. It's, it's 
it's one of the reasons why it's the greatest place in the world to play and coach. Is is our people love the Montana Grizzlies as much as we love the Montana Grizzlies. Where do you guys? Where do you think you guys should be ranked in the nation this week? I don't think I'm on the voting deal, so it don't matter what I think. <laughs> if you voted, <laughs> we got a lot of games. We'll be right where we need to be. Where would you vote us? Uh, I'd probably top three. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to vote against North Dakota State and James Madison. Why? What'd they do today? That's a good point. I think they might have won. They sure as hell didn't beat one of the best programs in the history of college football. Right. Maybe I'll rank you guys at first. Thank you. Bobby, this is kind of a big picture thing, but these types of games, FCS teams beating FBS teams, are becoming more and more common. Well, now let's let's. Common might be the wrong. Yeah. Word, well, but. I would say let's differentiate a bit here. Okay. Okay. This this isn't. I, I'm going to disparage another program if I say it, but this isn't Bemidji State now. This is the Washington Huskies. Okay. Uncommon. This is App State over Michigan. Make no make no mistake on that. Last one for me. You you kind of. Not it to President Bodner there in, in the fourth quarter. You kind of touched on it, but I mean, a big football win. But you, I think you realize like what this can do for a university and, and just the state of Montana well, as a whole. What I did is I we, we met, we had a chance to get together a week and a half ago. He asked me how I thought we'd do, and I told him we were winning. <laughs> why why you so I turned around and said, I told you. Why did you think that a week and a half ago? Because we have a good team. It's about us. We have a good team. You said App State over Michigan. Everyone remembers the, the block field goal to end the game. What, what's going to be the you know memory that's imprinted in your mind from tonight? It's just a it's me. You know how well we played on all three phases. We we didn't score a bunch, but we managed the game pretty well on offense. And you know for Cam to come back after struggling in the first half, hit, hit, I knew we were going to be all right when he hit the first two passes. The second half, even though we went three and out, I said okay, we're good. Um, our kicking game was awesome. You know, those guys played their tail off. So, just a complete team win. I think we have, uh, as we've all talked, I think we have a complete team. And I love, <coughs> I love our guys. I think what um, before the, that touchdown drive, I think Cam was four thirteen passing. You guys haven't converted a third down. What gave you the confidence to well, we stick with them? We almost converted about three of them. <laughs> Penalties. <laughs> okay. Well, what gave you the confidence to stick What'd with you it? What think of that? Of what? Penalties? Mm-hmm. Um, Do you think they were good calls? I'd have to go back and look at each of them, but some of them seemed like they got flags got thrown in there late. Interesting. I just said interesting in your take because I don't get to have them. <laughs> well, well, what gave you the confidence to? Right. Say it again. What gave you the confidence to stick with Cam at quarterback? He's our guy. We're going to stick with him. He's a good player. He's our guy. Did you consider switching quarterbacks at all? No. In fact, we said that this morning. We ain't switching no matter what. So he went into the game. We knew they couldn't get to him and knock him out. So it's his game. Yeah. Questions? I wanted to ask him about, you know, sort of the offensive line. I mean, you're playing a, a D1 or a Power 5 defense, ranked defense. You didn't get sacked once, I don't think. What did you think of the way that they played and, you know, navigating the pocket back there? Our O-line? Yeah. I mean, I don't think an O-line can play any better than our O-line played tonight. I mean, they were outstanding. You know, like you know, Gavin Coach said, that's a, that's a damn good football team over there. And, uh, you know, we held our own, and they protected me all night. It was awesome. Cam, you might have been asked this already, but considering your journey through college football, what does it mean to kind of come back here and have a, have a moment and have a win like this? I still can't believe it. It's awesome. I mean, I can't believe it because we did damn good. But um, it's like I don't really understand it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it was 10-7. to 7. You guys were on the four-yard line, and you decided to take a field goal instead of going forward on fourth down as – Here's the reasoning behind that. Uh, do you know what the percentage is on two-point conversion? Just generally in college football? It's not great, and that's from the three. So if we'd have been inside the two, we'd have gone for it. 
not not fourth and four. I wanted to ask about tra- they, need, they need seven teams. I wanted to ask about trying the last field goal to to put the game away, but you could have gone for the punt and, and pin the back with no time left. I mean, why did you decide to send Kevin out for that last one? Thought he could make it. Anybody else? Nope. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Great.